Hi guys, Rob from Rob's Model Cars and welcome back to part four of how to build the Porsche Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. Now I've had a bit of a chance to uh, paint some of the interior parts. Um, I've done a little bit of sub-assembly as well. Uh, this dashboard is in two pieces so I've screwed the back piece on. Uh, things like the centre console is made up of three individual pieces. Um, so I've just screwed those together before I painted the whole thing. Now what I did was um, I used an automotive black base coat which is 50% black base coat, 50% thinner um, and I've basically just uh, cleaned over all of these plastic parts and repainted them uh, and then I've used a Tamiya uh, a TS80 which is a flat clear and spray that over the top of the base coat and what that does it gives it a nice uh, black silky finish so it definitely doesn't look like the plastic anymore um, let me grab a dashboard uh, this is the right hand drive dashboard this is an unpainted one and as I mentioned before you can see even though it feels smooth you can see all the uh, plastic marks in it and this is the one that I have painted so you can see there's quite a difference there in the parts uh, by painting it you've actually gotten rid of all of the little uh, plastic mold marks in it so uh, I haven't quite finished all the parts I've still got a little bit of detail painting to do um, this is the rear diffuser this is actually just straight automotive black base coat so it's semi gloss it's not full gloss if you want full gloss you have to put a uh, a two-pack clear over the top of it so I've left some of the aero parts just in this finish which is like a semi gloss black um, but you can see the difference between um, this is the black base coat off the gun uh, and this is once I've applied the Tamiya uh, TS80 flat clear so um, as I say I've done most of the interior parts I still have a little bit of detail painting to do uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to assembly of the engine. Um, I've sort of been quite excited to build the engine on this model. So uh, until I have all the parts ready uh, to finish putting the interior together, uh, we're gonna, going to move on to the, the engine. Um, I'm not painting any of the parts for the engine because, to be honest, you really don't see that much of the engine when it's in the car. Uh, only really the top of it so um, let's get into building the engine now I'm going to do some time lapse here because I think it's going to take a couple of hours uh, and I just can't put out a three hour long video so uh, let's get into building the engine
Okay, so um, the very end of that, uh, putting the muffler on, my battery actually ran out on my camera and I didn't realise, so uh, I've actually glued the second uh, side of headers on and just clipped the muffler in place. Um, but this is basically the engine. Now it's absolutely massive. It's longer than a 118th scale Lamborghini Aventador model. Um, and it was reasonably easy to put together. Most of it just screws together. Uh, some parts get glued together also. Um, the tricky bit was the, uh, the ignition coil wires. Now, <clears throat> what I had to do was, uh, when this was cut off the, uh, the rubber rack, it was sort of in a position like that. Hopefully you can see. And the plug wires were sticking out this way so what I had to do was just bend them underneath underneath this main cable and then they glue in on an angle now they do have a, a square side so they can only sit in there one way um, so that was a little bit tricky to work that one out uh, and the other issue I had was actually gluing uh, the headers the six headers into the header holes into the block uh, now I didn't quite have the glue set because you've got a glue on the, the smaller parts. Um, I just recommend that you glue the headers together. Make sure that it's completely dried uh, before you start trying to glue it into the block. Um, but I think that was really the only, the only couple of issues I had with it. It did go together pretty well um, and I'm reasonably happy with uh, the level of detail. As I see, said, you're not really going to see that much of this. That's why I didn't bother adding a, a super detail kit, which you can buy online for this model, uh, because you're really just not going to see all the little extra hoses and cables and things like that. So uh, that's the engine. Uh, and this was the first assembly that I did, which was uh, the intake manifold uh, and the air boxes off the side. Now, what I did do... Uh, off camera was I painted the throttle bodies here silver uh, I had a look at some pictures online uh, and they are indeed silver on the real car and they were just a black molded part so I've just come back with the paintbrush uh, with some Tamiya uh, silver and I've just painted those throttle bodies uh, I still have to put the carbon center panel back in here but I just want to wait until uh, I do a little bit more work uh, and once, once it's all I finish handling it I'll actually put this back on. Now this will actually just, uh, with a little bit of glue, uh, sit on top of the engine, like so. Uh, and yeah, it's 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 a pretty impressive engine to say the least. Uh, maybe Porsche should re release just the engine kit, uh, so people could build this and have it mounted on a on a display base. I think it would look really cool. So yeah, that's it. That time lapse was about two hours worth of work, a little bit over two hours it took me to assemble all of this. Uh, and the next stage is after that, uh, we're moving into the uh, front differentials and rear differential, uh, and then moving into the suspension components uh, and starting to put it all in the rear subframe. So uh, I'm going to finish painting all of those bits and pieces uh, for the interior. And then we'll actually jump back to the start of the book uh, and assemble the interior. And then once, uh, once that's done, then we'll keep moving forward and getting this engine mounted into the subframe and, and keep moving on from there. So that's basically it for part four of how to build the Porsche Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. Uh, if you're new to the channel uh, and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, feel free to share the video and don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram under Rob's Model Cars uh, and I also sell uh, a few model cars and some rare model car parts on eBay and my seller name there is Rob's Model Cars also. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that uh, video. That's the first time I've actually used some time lapse in a video uh, just because it was so long. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for part five uh, when we continue the build of this massive Lamborghini model. So until next time, thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.